Welcome back to Tech Trip 101. As the Microsoft announced the release of Windows 11, Windows 10 users are hyped for the upgrade. However, there are some users reported that they encountered error when trying to run the compatibility test using the PC Health Check tool. It says uh, your organization manages updates on this PC. Please contact your IT administrator. So, if you're one of those who encountered the error, this video will help you on how to fix it. So let's get into it. Here's a quick demo on how I removed the error I encountered when trying to run the uh, compatibility check using the PC Health Check app. Alright, here it is. PC Health Check app. Introducing Windows 11. Let's click on Check Now. The error is the organization manages updates on this PC. For info about getting Windows 11, contact your ID administrator. Also here, at the bottom, your organization manages backup in six settings on this PC. Contact your ID administrator. So, what I did was, I went to Settings. Click on Settings. And look for Accounts. Click on Accounts. And then look for Access Work or School. There you go. Access Work or School tab. And then I discovered that there was an account logged in. It was an Office 365 account. So that means this PC is being controlled by the organization's domain. So this is the main reason why I encountered errors, so I immediately disconnected the account, removed it, So then, I tried again, running the uh, compatibility check, and it's now successful. This PC can run Windows 11. So we're now ready for the Windows 11 upgrade, once it's available and ready to install. However, if you still encounter the error after you remove the account synced on your computer, you have to make sure that you're logged in as an administrator. For you to verify that, go to Settings and then go to Accounts. You have to make sure that you're logged in as the administrator of the computer. If it's not, go ahead and create one. To do that, simply go to Family and Other Users tab. Go to Other Users and click on Add Someone Else to this PC. And then click on I don't have this person's information. And then Add User without a Microsoft account. And then type in the username. There you go. The account has been successfully created. But 
it says local account. You have to make sure that it's an administrator account. Click on that one and then go ahead and click on change account type. And then you have to make sure that you select the administrator and then click OK. There you go. So you have to use the account you have created for you to be able to run the compatibility test successfully. That's all about it. That's how easy you remove the error. That's it for now. So if this is your first time watching my videos, please don't forget to give me a thumbs up, comment down below, and of course hit the subscribe button to get notified on my future videos. Thank you for watching, see you on the next one.